Liebe Eltern, ganz herzlichen Glückwunsch zur Geburt Ihres Kindes. Wir hoffen, dass Sie sich bisher bei uns gut betreut gefühlt haben. Damit Sie sich auch zu Hause sicher und gut informiert im Umgang mit Ihrem Kind fühlen, haben wir Ihnen das Wichtigste in einem Film nochmals zusammengestellt. Für die Zeit nach der Entlassung aus der Klinik empfehlen wir Ihnen außerdem, sich baldmöglichst einen Kinderarzt zu suchen. Wir wünschen Ihnen weiterhin eine schöne Zeit im Klinikum Dritter Orden und einen guten Start zu Hause. Alles Gute! Your baby's nutrition is our special concern. Breast milk is the best diet for your baby. Please, place your baby on the breast regularly. In the beginning, newborns usually drink every two to four hours. If possible, we suggest you only breastfeed your baby in the first four months. This is especially important for newborns from families with atopic diseases, like hay fever, asthma or neurodermitis. Besides, breast milk also supplies enough fluids, so you don't need to give extra water or tea. If you can't breastfeed or have to stop breastfeeding, you can feed your baby with pre-nutrition. In case of atopic diseases, please take pre-HA nutrition, which contains less allergens. You can start feeding complementary food in the fifth month of life. How to start and proceed, you can discuss with your pediatrician. If the mother eats only vegetarian or vegan food, please let us know immediately, because we want to explain what you need to look after in your diet. Especially babies from mothers on an only vegan diet can develop symptoms of deficiency, which can be devastating long term. Every newborn regularly loses weight in the first couple of days. Until the 14th day of life, your baby should reach his or her birth weight again. Sometimes, newborns lose more than 10% of their birth weight. In that case, we suggest you feed an extra amount of pre-nutrition after breastfeeding to make sure your baby has enough fluids to be strong enough for breastfeeding. Please, don't replace breastfeeding with pre-nutrition. It is important to breastfeed first every time, so breast milk keeps on being produced. The various breastfeeding positions we show you in an extra film. Our staff with extra knowledge of breastfeeding will come around and help you with positioning your baby, as well as give further advice if you want. For reliable bonding with your baby, it is important to interact sensitively from the beginning on. It is important you make eye contact and have physical contact as often as possible. Especially using electronic devices during breastfeeding or carrying your baby, for example smartphones, TV or tablets, distract you from sensitive bonding. It will have a negative long-term effect on your relationship with your baby. Now we show you how a baby sleeps as safe as possible. With these generally known suggestions, sudden infant death syndrome shall be prevented. We still don't know all causes of SIDS, but we know about several correct methods how to place your baby for sleeping, which reduce the risk of sudden infant death syndrome enormously. Place your baby always on his or her back for sleeping. Please let it sleep only in a sleeping bag. Don't use a blanket, which can slip over the face. The head of your baby must be free, meaning no hat, no pillow, no hide, no cot bumper, no soft toy or similar things. They all look cozy for us, but there is a risk of your baby snuggling up with them and therefore getting asphyxiated. Your baby should sleep in his or her own bed, but in your room, so you can hear when there is an unusual noise. Room temperature should be 18 degrees Celsius. Body temperature you can feel best in the back of the neck. It should be warm, but not sweaty. If you have the feeling that your baby is too cold or hot, 
please measure the temperature in order to be on the safe side. Body temperature should be in between 36.5 and 37.4 degrees Celsius, measured in the butt. While breastfeeding protects from sudden infant death syndrome, smoking increases it dramatically. Additionally, smoking always harms your baby's health. If you absolutely can't stop smoking, please never smoke while the baby is around, only outside, not in the apartment or car. Even then, your baby will inhale all harmful substances from your clothing. When your baby is awake and you are with him or her, you can place him or her on the tummy, so it can train back muscles. If your baby is unattended, only place him or her on the back, always. When following all these suggestions, we haven't seen a sudden infant death syndrome in the last couple of years in Munich. Never shake your baby. It is a life-threatening situation for your baby. We will provide you with guidance and an information brochure how to handle a screaming baby. Please read the brochure carefully and provide grandparents and babysitters with the information as well. This is a so-called yellow booklet. Each newborn will get one with the discharge papers. Please always take it with you when going to your pediatrician or in a children's hospital. In this booklet, there's all important information about your baby, which helps to get a good and fast overview about him or her. In the front, there is a card with the so-called U examinations folded up. If you enroll your baby into childcare or school, you can only take this card. It is meant for medical data protection. U examinations are necessary examinations for your child. U1 has been made directly after birth in the delivery room. U2 we will perform before discharge, if your baby is at least 48 hours old. If you want to be discharged earlier than that, you need to go to your pediatrician for the U2, until day 10 of life. During your stay in hospital, we will screen your baby's hearing, as required by law in Germany. The result you will be told immediately. If the ear screening can't be performed because you are discharged beforehand, please let your pediatrician know and it can be caught up there. At the age of 24 to 48 hours, we will regularly measure your baby's oxygen saturation to early detect heart conditions not seen during the pregnancy. For the measurement, we will put a sensor at the foot of your baby. In cases of conspicuous results, we control the saturation again in a timely manner. Our pediatricians will organize further examinations if needed in persistent conspicuous results and will tell you about it. The measurement doesn't hurt at all and helps to find out about critical heart conditions quite early. At the earliest of 36 hours of life, every baby is screened for rare metabolic diseases. Therefore, blood from the heel needs to be taken which is then examined for rare metabolic diseases. These diseases are often not apparent in the first days of life, but need a rapid diagnosis or therapy to prevent lifelong harm. In case of a suspicious result, we will inform you immediately at home and let you know what you have to do. If you and your baby are discharged earlier than 36 hours of life, your midwife at home or your pediatrician needs to take the newborn screening. With the U3, the examination in between four to six weeks of life, every baby will get an ultrasound of the hips to exclude a hip dysplasia. The ultrasound shows if the femoral head lies correctly in the acetabulum, or if you need to swaddle your baby broadly, or a special spread squat holder is needed. With some risk factors, this hip ultrasound should be performed earlier with the U2. These risk factors are breech position, multiples, newborns with severe foot deformities, or if someone in your family had a hip dysplasia as a baby. Only parents or siblings from the newborn wearing a spread squat holder. 
please let us know so we can book a hip ultrasound for your baby during your stay. Every baby gets vitamin K with the U1, U2 and U3 examination from us as droplets. Vitamin K is very important for the blood coagulation. Hemorrhage, especially brain hemorrhage, shall be prevented by giving vitamin K. With discharge, you will receive a package vitamin D or vitamin D with fluoride for your baby. The tablets contain fluoride and vitamin D, or only vitamin D. Breastfed babies regularly don't get enough vitamin D, which is important for bone grafting. Fluoride is built into the teeth from birth on and protects them from tooth decay. From day 5 of life, your baby should get one tablet each day, the whole first year of life. You can put the tablet in your baby's cheek pouch just before breastfeeding and it is resolved quickly. You can also liquidate the tablet in some breast milk on a spoon and give it before feeding. Don't put the tablet into a milk bottle, it can get stuck at the rim of the bottle. Your midwife can show you how to give vitamin D. When the first tooth comes out, you should start brushing it. Local fluoride is best for the teeth, so start brushing with a baby toothpaste containing fluoride and switch to giving only vitamin D orally from then on. Please also make an appointment at a children's dentist when the first tooth comes out. The rest of the umbilical cord normally drops by itself in the first two weeks of life. It should be cleaned daily with normal saline or cold boiled water. Your midwife at home will also keep an eye on it. If the umbilical cord is red or smells disgusting, please show it to your midwife or pediatrician to make sure there is no infection. Nearly all newborns will develop a often harmless yellow skin called hyperbilirubinemia in the first days of life. In case of higher results in bilirubin levels than accepted, we need to start the so-called phototherapy to get these levels down and prevent lifelong damage to the brain. When at home you notice that your baby is yellow and also limp, doesn't drink well or sleeps very long, please go to your pediatrician for an immediate check or at night to one of the children's hospitals nearby. All of us can check the bilirubin levels in the blood quickly. Before discharge, we always measure painlessly bilirubin via the skin and let you know if it should be measured again soon. You can come to our emergency room for this measurement. Another reason for an immediate examination of your baby is a bacterial infection. Such an infection needs to be treated immediately because in newborns an infection can get worse very quickly. In the first three months of life, a baby is not allowed to develop fever, which means a temperature higher than 38.0 degrees Celsius measured in the butt. Fever could be a sign for an infection. If you as a parent have the feeling something is wrong with your baby, for example, he or she looks more pale or even greyish, he or she is floppy, doesn't call for the usual feed or even drinks poorly or is noticeably misery and screams a lot, please go to let your baby be checked immediately, either with your pediatrician or at night or weekends in the children's clinic nearby. Never wait for the midwife or the other parent. Sometimes newborns don't have fever with an infection, but get hypothermic. In case the mother had a streptococcal positive swab during pregnancy, there is a higher risk of getting an infection for your baby in the first three months of life. Please be extra aware in this case, as these infections can have severe causes. 
all these problems can be treated when diagnosed early. In specific cases, additional examinations are necessary, for example measuring your baby's blood sugar when you had gestational diabetes. We will talk about these with you. If you get a herpes blister on your lip in childbed, please don't kiss your baby. Best to wear a face mask, put a cyclovir cream on your blister and wash and disinfect your hands properly. You can keep on breastfeeding. The first vaccinations will be given with eight weeks of life and they are well tolerated. We strongly advise you to let your baby be vaccinated with the normal vaccination scheme. Diseases we vaccinate against can cause severe damage. Your pediatrician will talk with you about everything concerning vaccinations. If you have further questions, we can answer them during your stay or when you are discharged. You can watch the film also at home anytime. The link is in the discharge brochure. We wish you and your family all the best. The clinical team from Britta Orden. Der